I thought I would do a little bit of a review on wedge shots. As you guys know, they're critical. You are not gonna play good golf without wedges you can control. You can leave close to the pin and convert into uh, birdies. So I figured I would review some of the footage uh, from the shots I was hitting, the wedge shots I was hitting in Kazakhstan and go through them with you. It's a wedge shot on the ninth hole. I actually had to pitch out and um, you know, beautiful shot. I've got the water on the right hand side and this is when I was trying to save par. So I'm about 100 yards. The pin is in the back. Mechanics look good. I like the fact that my feet are close together. It's going to limit the amount of backswing I have um, and keep me under control. I um, hit a decent shot there and unfortunately missed the putt. Tap in bogey. Now the next wedge shot is um, different camera angle. It's um, from the side. And I like the fact that when I stand behind the ball, you can see a deep breath. Whew. That's becoming a signal for me that I know, okay, you're ready to hit the shot, get into it. Um, once again, I like the close feet. I like the backswing and I like the fact that I've got enough weight on that front foot. Um, that shot was going into 18 and um, I did make the putt on that one. So uh, successful second wedge shot. Now Jilo Golf Club has a lot of thick rough. So one of the things that you really had to judge was how the ball was going to come out depending on the lie you had in the rough. Some of the lies, the ball was sitting up, almost teed up in the rough, and others, uh, other areas, the ball would sink way down into the long stuff. Um, and I realized I don't practice those shots enough. So one of the things I'm gonna work on is wedge shots from rough. So I feel more comfortable and confident when I have to hit them. Uh, I tend to practice all my wedge game from nice, beautiful lies. Makes perfect sense, you wanna control it. But, so I'm not guessing how the ball's gonna react out of rough. I should be practicing more of those. The last shot I wanted to show you is kind of an interesting one. The fairways um, at Gilo were in some cases tilted towards the rough. So you might hit the middle of the fairway and the ball would meander down and end up against the collar of the first cut or second cut. Now in this one, I've got about 80 yards, so it's a short shot, but you can see my ball is right up against the collar between the long grass and the short grass. This is something I never practice and really wasn't sure what kind of contact I was gonna get on the ball. And here I just convinced myself it was going to come out like a normal fairway wedge shot. And it actually did. It uh, came out quite well. I probably was over concerned about that rough. And uh, I ended up with a eight footer for birdie and made the putt. So successful out of that funky lie. So there you have it, a little bit of an analysis of the wedge shots I was hitting around Jilo um, Golf Club in Almaty.